The sun he is setting on yet another semester cut short. Syracuse University classrooms left empty once again. Students heading home earlier than expected. This comes after a surge of COVID-19 cases on campus and across the county. Wherever you turn this semester. Everything is just like different. The impacts of COVID have been there. It's hard seeing someone one day and then the next they're just gone. We would have gathered people together here in this space as we typically do. Now students are increasingly witness to their own friends being put in quarantine or contracting the virus itself. All my classes are actually online. College isn't supposed to be like this. Students have been dealt a tough blow these past three semesters, leaving campus early becoming far too typical. It was a year ago this past month. Racial slurs were written on the walls of both the fourth and sixth floors of Day Hall right here on Mount Olympus. A white nationalist manifesto was posted to Greek rank. Students packing up their bags out of a fear campus wasn't safe. It was just a few months later. We will suspend residential instruction. Students are leaving for spring break, unsure when or if they will return this semester. This is the number of coronavirus cases grows. Our lives seeming to change in an instant. Two weeks away from campus, turning into 22. Some questioned whether we should return at all. They wondered, would students do the right thing or continue like nothing had changed? It's clear the vast majority of students did do the right thing. The SU community no doubt exceeding expectations. But it wasn't enough when it mattered the most. As the vice chancellor noted, as the semester dragged on, far too many did the wrong thing. As we observed, parties and gatherings continued on this campus in a limited capacity throughout the semester. So, when COVID began rising uncontrollably in central New York, the same took place on campus. People growing complacent. COVID fatigue, no doubt the reality. Nearly 700 SU students caught COVID this semester. That's about one in every 26 students on campus. Now for some of us, it feels like last March, huddled in our apartments or back in our hometowns. As students look ahead across this long break, they no doubt are wondering if they will be allowed on campus next semester. It's no certainty. So much of it dependent on what COVID conditions will be like months from now. So here's to hoping our reality stops being an anomaly. Here's to hoping we're back on campus together real soon. In Syracuse, Ricky Sayer, Citrus TV News.